since we're back in lockdown again, and since that lockdown has been extended again, I thought I would make a few more videos and uh, I thought I would talk a bit about my pen collection. Now, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you will be familiar with the fact that I like collecting fountain pens. I love collecting fountain pens. I have done that continuously since I was a young teenager. And I thought I would go through my collection and pick out a few which were um, a little more interesting. So I'm going to start with this one here. Uh, I bought this from a friend of mine online and I got it for a very nice price. This pen is sterling silver, uh, sterling silver clip, cap and barrel. And it was made by, as you can see here, the famous company of Tiffany and Co. And as you can see, it is 925 sterling silver, made in Germany. So, like I said, the entire um, body of the pen is sterling silver. The clip is the Tiffany capital T, as you can see here. And it's uh, sprung, which is nice. So you can open it and close it, slide it up and down, uh, nice and convenient. The cap is a clip-on, so it just pops off like that. Pop that there. The uh, nib is 18 karat white gold. And it has the Tiffany T again, and it has, let's see if I can zoom in, there we go. It has Tiffany and Co 750. I'll see if I can zoom in a bit. There we go, there we go. So you can see it there. It's got some beautiful flourishing. A uh, bit of ink bleeding, but uh, what are you going to do? It's an old pen. It's probably, hmm, must be 30 years old, 30, maybe 40 years old. Um, the reason I got this pen so cheap was because someone in the pen's past had dropped it and had dinged the nib. So I got it cheap on the proviso that I could fix it, which I did. I pulled the nib out of the feed. Uh, it's, it's just friction fit. It was surprisingly easy to get it out. Once I got it out, it was just a matter of straightening out the tines and leveling them up so that they met correctly. And now uh, it's one of my favorite rises. It is beautifully smooth. It's a nice wet fine. And uh, I will give you a short writing demonstration. So here we go. So, let's see if we've got that there. Yep, okay. Just juice it up a bit. There we go. So there we go. The pen is the standard cartridge converter filler. It has an international converter inside it, as you can see. Uh, very easily replaced. And then it just screws on like so. Um, I don't know how 
common this pen is or how rare it is. I have searched for another one extensively on uh, eBay. I have never seen one. I have only ever seen this one. Um, Tiffany does sell fountain pens. You can go on their website right now and you can buy uh, fountain pens retailed by Tiffany in sterling silver with the Tiffany name on it and all that kind of stuff. Um, they're very expensive. They're about two or three thousand um, dollars. A Mont Blanc does not cost that much. So why you would buy one, I don't know. But you know, I mean, hey, if you can afford it and you like it and you want to buy it, go ahead. It's your money. You can do what you want. Um, I <clears throat> I bought this one because it was compared. I mean, compared to what they cost brand new, uh, this was <clears throat> absolutely dirt cheap. This was dirt cheap, and I, I just love it. I, I like it, you know, because of how unique and uh, I assume how rare it is. Because, like I said, I've never seen another one like this. I mean, I'm sure they exist. I'm sure they're out there, but <clears throat> I, I've never seen one. I've seen the. They, they, this also comes as a uh, as a ballpoint pen. I have seen the ballpoint. It, it, there's loads of them on eBay. Loads of them. Uh, but I've never seen a fountain pen. Only ever seen this one, so yeah, that's uh, something a little different. A Tiffany and Company Sterling Silver Fountain Pen. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting, and uh, thank you for watching. Leave any comments below. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, if you want to, know, if you want to know a bit more about my pen collecting and what I have in my collection, then. Uh, there is a link to my blog in the description below. Uh, feel free to go and check it out. And uh, read, subscribe, uh, post comments, ask questions, all that kind of, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.